Um, PSP is a disease, as you said, that uh, is part of Parkinsonism, and at a very early stage, it can look like Parkinson disease. Um, therefore, uh, the difficulties lays in the fact that uh, this particular group of patients do not respond well to the medications or do not have the sustained response as others. Um, the challenges also lays in the fact that uh, sometimes the symptoms at the very beginning are very mild and it's very difficult to hear a complaint about dizziness or a complaint about double vision and you don't see any major abnormalities. And many of the biomarkers that I mentioned are not necessarily very good at early stages. So those are the main, major challenges that we are facing. But then we know that at some point, these conditions start to progress. And that's the point that we need to accept. And that's the point that we need to be trying to identify ways to better understand and better treat this group of patients even earlier on especially the moment that we hope we will have a treatment that can delay the progression of the disease, we need to be intercepting this condition quite early. Therefore, the use of some biomarkers, imaging or serum or CSF, can be helpful to, especially when combined in a multimodal fashion, can be helpful to identify the group of patients right away and eventually target an early treatment. But in this moment, still from some expert clinician, it's not easy. Um, I always say to my resident, to my students, and also to my patients, um, today the diagnosis is this. Tomorrow it can be changing because we have to keep an open mind. We cannot be in our ivory tower saying this is what it is. Yes. Things change, the pathodynamic of the disease changes with time. So in a condition like PSP that has progressive, but the early phases can be confusing. We have to keep an open mind. And I keep an open mind every time I see a patient, no matter what disease they have.